Google Earth is a free software program that allows the user to fly over a virtual globe viewing the Earth through high-resolution satellite images. The program also features many data layers as information sources, including points of interest, roads, bus stops, and 3D buildings. Google Earth also enables the user to create annotated maps and import personal spatial data. This presentation illustrates advanced data presentation techniques. This includes map making in Google Earth by integrating a legend, title, scale bar, and other map elements into visualizing spatial data. Further, the user's visual experience is enhanced through narrating tours. This image displays the main window of Google Earth with some labeled features and panels. The 3D viewer is the window for viewing the globe and its terrain. It contains the status bar on the bottom which displays point coordinates, elevations, and the viewpoint altitude above mean sea level. In this presentation, the focus will be on advanced data presentation, including making maps using the print or save image buttons, attaching images to camera locations, and narrating tours using the record a tour button. As a showcase for map making, it will be shown step by step how a map of the teaching and demonstration gardens at the University of Florida Fort Lauderdale Research and Education Center can be created in Google Earth. To start the map making process, the vegetation map KML was opened in Google Earth and the area of interest was zoomed into. To create maps in Google Earth, one can either select the print button or the image button. For this example, the print button will be explored first. The white outline indicates the extent of the garden areas to be included in the map. Areas excluded from the map have a black overlay. By selecting the Page Setup button, the map dimensions, page orientation, and margins can be changed. Once the page size has been finalized, the next step is to evaluate the elements to include on the map. To edit the map elements, select the Map Options drop-down menu above the Viewer window. Selecting the checkboxes next to the elements allows the user to turn on and off the title and description, legend, scale, compass, and HTML area. The size of the elements and their corresponding text sizes can be scaled using the scaling option. Furthermore, the background imagery can be altered to show a black and white image by changing the styling. After all changes are made to the map, the map configuration can be saved for future application if desired. To edit the content of the title and description, legend, or HTML area, select the element with a left mouse click. Here, the title and description element is updated automatically. Further, the element can also be resized by selecting and dragging the element's lower right-hand corner to fit the desired text description. In the legend map element, features can be removed from the legend by unselecting the box next to a feature. This only removes the features from the legend and not the map itself. To edit a feature name in the legend, double click the feature name in the edit legend window. To save any edited legend features, make sure to save the map configuration under map options discussed earlier. The HTML area can be used to provide enhanced customization capabilities. Basic HTML coding enables the user to customize the map by incorporating a custom title, logo, or even web page. An example of a University of Florida logo with a customized background is shown to the right. The placement of all map elements can be moved on the map by holding down the left mouse button and dragging the element to the desired location. Upon making all of the desired edits and saving the map configuration under Map Options, the final product can be output as a printed product or PDF to share electronically. This map is a screen capture of the final PDF document. If a JPEG image format is preferred, the Image button can be selected. The resolution of the output image must be selected in lieu of choosing a document size for printing. Switching between the print and image formats will affect the placement of some map elements, but will not affect the content of the elements stored in the configuration file. Another advanced data presentation technique is adding photos to Google Earth. In a previous presentation on GeoTIFFs, 
aerial image overlays, and georeferencing were discussed. Here, the goal is to georeference horizontally oriented photos in Google Earth. An image from John U. Lloyd State Park in Dania Beach, Florida will be used for this exercise. An overview of the park with the 3D buildings layer activated is shown at the bottom. Next, one needs to zoom in to the approximate location and orientation of the photo to be added. Select Add from the menu bar and then Photo. The new Photo Overlay dialog window pops up after adding the photo. The top part of the window includes the name for labeling purposes, the link for locating the file location on the computer, and the transparency to adjust the opaqueness of the imagery over the background. The Photo tab is used to adjust the location and orientation of the image. The camera placement shows the location information. The orientation is adjusted by changing the heading, tilt, and roll of the camera. The image on the right shows the difference in the location and orientation parameters between the original approximation and the best approximation as it relates to lining the image up with the horizon and the direction of the camera exposure. As one navigates to the camera exposure position, a thumbnail of the image appears. Double-clicking the thumbnail allows the user to open the full image overlay as shown in the bottom image. Scaling differences between the features in the image and the features in the 3D buildings layer may be present. These differences will vary by location. Depending upon the resolution of the camera image, the detail in the overlaid image often exceeds the detail seen in the 3D buildings layer. Creating KML tours in Google Earth is an excellent way to lead viewers through a series of locations. Voiceovers can be added to enhance the narrative and storytelling aspect of the visualization. To create a tour, the simplest method is to select the Record a Tour button above the 3D viewer. A pop-up appears in the bottom left-hand corner of the 3D viewer. The red circle button starts and stops a recording. Likewise, the blue microphone button starts and stops a recording with audio voiceover. The time indicates the elapsed recording time. To show and record a pop-up when navigating between place marks on the narrated tour, one must enable this feature in the Google Earth Options window. This is done by selecting Tools and then Options. Under the Touring tab, ensure that the Show Balloon When Waiting at Features checkbox is enabled. Apply any changes and exit. To demonstrate this process, a narrated tour will be recorded to show the physical locations of the statewide University of Florida Geomatics program. Ensure the folder and all placemarks stored within the folder are selected in the Places panel. This will preserve file paths when the tour is exported as a KMZ file. The Record a Tour button and then the Microphone button are selected to start the recording. The following slide is a recording of the demonstration. To navigate from location to location, placemarks were double-clicked. An overview of Peninsula, Florida shows that there are four physical locations where the statewide University of Florida geomatics program is administered. Starting in South Florida, we'll first visit the Fort Lauderdale Research and Education Center. At the FLREC, geomatics personnel collaborate with the Wildlife, Environmental Horticulture, Agronomy, and Entomology programs in interdisciplinary research. Next, we'll visit the Gulf Coast Research and Education Center's Plant City Campus near Tampa. At the GCREC, geomatics personnel provide precision agriculture expertise in collaborative research projects. Heading north, the geomatics program has a presence in the Greater Orlando area at the Mid-Florida Research and Education Center in Apopka. Lastly, we arrive at Reed Lab, the Gainesville residence for the University of Florida Geomatics program just south of Ben Hill Griffin Stadium. The UF main campus has been home to the geomatics program since its inception in 1973. To enhance the user's visual experience with Google Earth, Three advanced data presentation techniques were covered in this presentation. 
They included making maps, attaching photos, and narrating tours.